Today I'll be opening two booster boxes, a $100 Brilliant Stars box and a $10,000 First Edition Team Rocket box. As we pull, we'll keep track of the value to see which box has the best returns. Let's rip! Oh my god, and here they are, side by side, the Brilliant Stars in the First Edition Team Rocket box. God, I haven't opened one of these in so long. Well, it finally happens today, my friends. Obviously, the Brilliant Stars box as well. Some big pulls inside of here, including the Charizards, which I have pulled before the Rainbow Charizard, but speaking of Charizards, obviously, this first edition Team Rocket box has one of the most iconic Charizards in the history of the Pokemon TCG universe. And we've got a really, oh, there's the cut, oh yeah. We've got a really crazy plan for all the cards that we pull out of this box, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Because right now I wanna focus on getting this box open, getting the 20 year old plastic off of it, wow. And hopefully these aren't G.I. Joe packs. Oh, that's a relief. Oh my gosh, they look fine. They look good, they look crispy. I think it's legit, think we're good. But wow, a first edition Team Rocket box opening. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. And here's how we'll do it. We're gonna open up five packs at a time. Five packs from Billion Stars, then five packs of Team Rocket, and so on and so forth. And we'll have a value counter right there, which will give us a scoreboard of the two boxes. Now let's begin with Brilliant Stars. All right, one, two, three, four, five packs, five packs. Now, obviously, since we have like 72 packs to open up today, we're gonna be going a little bit quicker. But for the culture, I obviously will be doing the card trick in every pack. First pack of the video, and we get a Zekrom character card out of it. Okay, hit on pack one, good start. Brilliant Star is definitely one of my favorite packs and favorite sets out of the more modern Sword and Shield era, just because of these cool Charizard pulls and a lot of the character cards. But this should be, <laughs> it should make for an insane video today, comparing these two boxes, obviously over 20 years apart, I think around 20 years apart. Pack two, Semi-Seer. Cool. And this will also give us a bit of a cool look on maybe just the quality differences between then and now, and just how packs were back in the day of our forefathers versus today, the modern stuff. Okay, this is pack five, the final of the first batch of Brilliant Stars warm-up packs. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, the real fun begins. Wow, again, I have not opened up first edition Team Rocket and I can't remember how long, and we get a whole booster box today. And again, an insane plan for, oh, this box, oh my, oh, they're just buttery. These packs are 20 years old, almost older than myself. I just butchered that one. Card trick is three to the front. If we flip this over and there's a dark Charizard, I will cry. Nice. Oh, look at that. So beautiful, the dark primate. Dark Vaporeon, that's a hit. This is one of my favorite comments from this entire collection. Now the garbage run, Machop, Dark Radicate, a slow poke. Yes, dude, the Squirtle. Any of the starters, any of the EV evolutions are all massive hits today. Is this, is this? Oh my God, Dark Magneton on the first pack, non-hollow, still great. Okay, so here are the other four packs, by the way. I forgot to put them aside. Oh, just look at the first edition. Wow, oh, it just, it rips so well. You've got your little Ekans. I will say Team Rocket is probably my favorite set out of the first five sets, and then it goes Neo Destiny for me. Oh, there's the Charmander, yes! So big, so big. Also, all the prices on screen will be CGC nine prices, because if you get a 10, that's crazy. And, and, oh, Dark Golbat, so far no hollow. Now remember, in a box like this, a first edition booster box, there are, I mean, sort of guaranteed, somewhere between like 11 to sometimes even 14, 13, 14 holographic cards in it. So we will see big pulls today. And out of this box, the most valuable ones, obviously Dark Charizard holographic. That is the biggest pull of the day, and hopefully the next card. We'll take a Squirtle, the next card. Yes! Oh, that's so good! First holographic of the box is a Dark Hypno Hollow. One of the lesser valuable ones, but it's still fine because it's still so cool. And looking at that Hollow foil, it looks good. It looks good. The card itself looks great. The centering looks good. The back looks good. Edges. Oh, this is a good quality box. This thing will grade high. Speaking of grading, <laughs> we have a big secret for this box. A journey that you and I will all get to go on together. And it will give you an opportunity to possibly get some of the cards, or maybe some of the best cards of this box. But again, stay tuned. Ah, oh, Charmander. We'll go over that in a bit. Just want to enjoy this first edition box and see if we get ourselves our second haul. Oh my God! Whoa, there he is! The one and only Dark Charizard, first edition. 
Dark Charizard, non-holographic, but still a very, very valuable card, especially if graded high, and since it's not a holo, we don't have to worry about holo foil marks, so it should, fingers crossed, grade high. Okay, last pack out of the first five. I mean, so far, so good. We found a freaking handful. We found a holo, Dark Machoke, holo. Got a holo, we got Charizard. Oh, this is one of my favorite cards in the entire set, by the way. Oh, speaking of Dark Dragonair, my favorite card in this whole set, I will have to say, other than Eevee, uh-huh, look at you, has to be the Dark Dragonite. I went through an entire first edition Team Rocket box for myself just to find it to get it in my personal collection. Charmander, huge pull. I've got crazy memories with that card, and I really hope we see it today. <laughs> Oh, there's no way! There's no way we just freaking called that! Is this rigged? Did I repackage this box? Wow! What? What? Talk about manifesting! This is my favorite card! What? Oh, and one of you will be able you, one of you will get this. Oh god, I might steal this one. I might keep this one, not gonna lie. I won't, but I want to. Dude, there's no way we just packed the first edition Dark Dragonite after I just oh my god, that's incredible. This is one of my favorite cards that has ever been printed ever. The centering of this card is just perfect. And again, the quality of these cards is gonna play into a really big plan we've got for the box. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Alright. <sighs> Time to go fast. Five brilliant stars. Gotta speed run these bad boys. Mainly because I want to go back to the Team Rocket box. <laughs> Boom, L. Banging L. That's three, four, and pack five. Hollow Moltres. And now the Rocket 5. Let's do it. You know, the Brilliant Stars packs make it really easy because there's nothing valuable except for the last card. <laughs> but in these Team Rocket packs, you have Pokemon like this, Squirtle, which are worth hundreds of dollars possibly if graded in a 10. Oh. And War Turtle. Look at that. Oh, Rocket, I know it was only a couple minutes, but I missed you. Ah, Squirtle. Well, we got Squirtle, we got War Turtle. Will we see the Blastoise? It only feels right. That's a right. Oh my god! I'm a psychic! Oh my god. Well, there's the Dark Blastoise, so obviously this is the non hollow version, but this is, in my opinion, one of Blastoise's coolest cards and coolest hollows when, when the hollow happens which it will. Oh, and what are we doing with these cards? What do I keep alluding to? Now, today's video is actually sponsored by CGC, the one and only card grading company. And they will be grading every single card pulled from this box, every single one of them, including this Dark Jolteon, this Squirtle, the Dratini, the Magnemite, the Ponyta, this cute little drowsy, the Cuffing, and the Rockets. Sneak Attack Holographic. That was the one holo I hope we wouldn't see today, and we're here, and CGC will grade this. <laughs> I wish I could pull a cooler card for you to grade. We'll then take all of the graded slabs that we got from this box, again, every single card, and package them up into a bunch of different mystery boxes. So if we pull the iconic Dark Charizard holo, which I hope we will today, it'll be in that box. Just like actually that Dark Dragonite holo we pulled today. Oh my god, one of you could get it. One of you maybe could get. Oh my god, I thought that was the last card. It's Charmant. I mean, still valuable. Be insane, Dark Alex. Kazam. And the mystery boxes will actually be auctioned off live on Whatnot. And the link for the mystery box live stream is actually in the description right now. Oh, it's such a good card and a very valuable one. All you have to do to join the mystery box auction is download Whatnot, make an account, and then bookmark the stream and join when it's happening. That I cannot wait for. Which will include a CGC graded Dark Gyarados holographic. Yes, the water song. Oh, man. You know, I actually thought that was going to be the Blastoise. That would have been funny if it was the Blastoise, because we just manifest that always. But I'll take the Gyarados. I love the Dark Gyarados. Oh, my gosh. And again, the quality of the cards in this box are just fantastic. Maybe just a light, little white on the top right, but other than that... I mean, the centering is good, the corners and stuff, it's just so good. Also in the description is actually the link to CGC's website, who is one of the top names in the Pokemon card and regular trading card grading scene. They are OGs. And obviously right now, grading could be a super difficult and expensive process. And we all want our cards graded, like this, Dark Rapidash. That's a 10 in my heart. But CGC makes it so easy with great prices, great turnaround times, and really, really clean, good-looking slabs. And they grade all the major TCGs like Pokemon, Magic, Dragon Ball Z, MetaZoo, so many more. So if you've got cards to grade, check out the link in the description for CGC. They are absolutely fantastic. And again, get ready because every card we pull in this box will be graded by CGC, including the Dark Soul Bro non-hollow. 
Five packs, okay. And actually in the next video, we're gonna reveal all of the grades that we got from this box. So that going into the auction, we all know basically what cards and what grades will be in the mystery boxes. EV character card. Oh, nice. So get ready for that, because that video is gonna be insane as well. I can't wait to see what these come out to. And we're not even halfway done with the rocket box. We have so many, hopefully more awesome hollows to pull out of that. Gosh, and hopefully some awesome cards to pull out of the Brilliant Stars box, man. This thing is giving us a run for our money right now. You know this box? It's a back-heavy box. Watch this. Hit. L. Hit. Yes! Agron V. Okay. Hit! That was pack five. GG's Lapras. All right, Team Rocket. Let's do this again. Five packs. Wow, so really hoping for some amazing hollow pulls today because, again, the quality that we've seen out of this Team Rocket box has, has actually been surprising. If you've ever opened up, oh, Charmeleon, Dragonair, if you've ever opened up or graded vintage cards, it's always kind of tricky, especially with the hollows, just because, man, these cards are like 20 years old, you know? Who knows what happened to them over time? Oh, speaking of hollows, Dark Arbok. All right, all right. I mean, we already found a Charizard, right? So the big pull obviously would be the Dark Charizard. We got so many Charmanders, so many Charmeleons. Ah, but where is the big daddy. Oh my god, stop giving us time! <laughs> Team Rocket Hollows! It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Type 1 in the comments to believe. You don't have to do that. Okay, let's get it. Much shop, Charmander, and the Dark Dragonite non-holographic. God, imagine we packed two hollows of this, that'd be incredible. Still an awesome card, still worth some money. Ah, so pretty. Wow, but what a, what a, what a, what a thing to be able to open up a whole box. Charmeleon. And this will not be the only video like this. We have so many more awesome, amazing videos and challenges. Squirtle on the way here on this TCG channel. I've got some really crazy ideas, okay? So if you're not subbed, make sure to sub for more dark wheezing non-holographic pulls. If that doesn't make you want to sub, I don't know what does. Come on, Team Rocket, give me and CGC something cool to grade. Take the Dark Charmeleon. Goop Gas, it's my favorite trainer card ever, Zubat. And the last one will be the Rocket's Sneak Attack, thank God, non hollow And Brilliant Stars. I feel like we're just overdue a secret rare hit in this Brilliant Stars box. I'm making a play, ah, Vaporeon, hello there, cutie. All right, I'm making a bold play call. Secret rare in the next four packs. One. Oh, nice. Not a secret rare, but it's a full art flag on. This card's pretty. Two. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Now we're starting to see some things out of this box. And four, no. Gonna make a wild play call here. I think the Team Rocket box is winning. <laughs> Even with all the hollow trainers. But can it keep winning? All right, come on now. Oh, amazing Golbat. Holographic Dark Golbat. Okay, so listen, I would never be one to complain about a first edition holographic card, but we need the bigger hitters and we need them now. You know how when you catch a fish, and you kiss it for good luck. Does that work with Pokemon cards? I guess next Magikarp card we find, we'll kiss. Maybe not, because we have to submit these to CG CGC so they can grade. I don't know if they take the kisses. Dark Machamp. Oh, yes, a Flareon. God, it's good. Dark Flareon. Oh, just such a wonderful sight to see. Charmander. Oh, so good. Followed by the Charizard. Dark Magneton. This is a big hollow if we can find this one. Super duper valuable. Really cool. Hard to pull. This and Dark Raichu. Both very hard hollows. Dark War Turtle. Hello there. Oh, Charmander again. Yes. Really anything to just run up that final uh, that final value counter. Dark Valplume not hollow. The night Nightly Garbage Run. Ooh. This is good. This is good. We have a lot. Oh, this is great. Watch this. Charizard Holographic. You know why? Because all the trainer cards are in here, which means the pack starts looking a little rough, and then all of a sudden, Charizard. Oh my god, Dragon. I mean, not bad, you know? Non-holographic Dark Dragonite, again. Have not pulled a Charizard yet from Brilliant Stars. And we have from the Team Rocket Box. So the Rocket Box already feeling nicer. And we are a little bit past that halfway point, so anything can happen. Is that Mewtwo? Whoa, that's pretty. This Torterra. And this Lucario. And a little bit of this Golurk. And finally, this Mimic UV character card. Oh, finally, something. We're only pulling character cards out of this box. Is this box... Is this box broken? At least this rocket box isn't broken. We've only pulled fire out of this. These will seal our fate as Pokemon collectors. We will pull five hollow Charizards in a row. Okay, we're not actually, that's just, that, that just won't happen, but it's fine. One will, I, I will settle with one. All right, man, Dark Gloom. We got the Machop, Slowpoke, Raticate, Mankey, Voltorb, Diglett, Sleep. Thank God it's not hollow. And specifically fire because, well, <laughs> we're looking for fire types, Charmander. Eradicate, Diglett. Oh my God! 
Just be hollow once, please! Dark Charizard again! Non-holographic. This box is the biggest tease. But man, so wild opening these two, oh, Dark Vaporeon, thank you. So wild opening these boxes side by side because when looking for cards that are valuable specifically, it's such a different vibe to where in a first edition box, a random card you could pull like this, okay, maybe not Rattata, but a random card you pull throughout the box can have a lot of value. But then in the Brilliant Stars box, it's really only the last card, please be hollow. Dark Gyarados. That's good, we already got the hollow. That one also holds value, and a decent amount of value at that for a non-hollow, including Darth Vaporeon, which is also expensive. And that's the fun and why these, obviously, older boxes are so expensive, is because it's not just a couple of cards in the box that are worth something, it's a couple cards in each pack, including. Every time I see this card, I have a heart attack. Now, I have not been keeping track of how many holographic cards we've pulled out of the Team Rocket box. I know we have a lot. This pack is gonna be valuable. First edition Dark Flareon, oh, it's so good. And then there's the Squirtle, finishing off with, it's the Dark Blastoise Holographic! Oh my god, yes, dude, I was, this is one of the ones I was really hoping that we would get. Oh, it's so good, man. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, well, we got, I mean, two holographic big boy water types today. The Gyarados and the Dark Blastoise. Definitely print lines on it, as you can see right there in the top left of the holofoil. Kind of scratched up a bit. That's unfortunate, but overall the card is really, really pretty and the back of it looks great as well. All, again, the centering on all these cards is really, really good. All right, Brilliant Stars, enough messing around, dude. Yeah, I believe, man, I believe. Hey, big packs right here. Big packs or this box is surely taking the L against the $10,000 box, bang. Oh, cool. Yeah, finally a freaking V-Star, dude. First V-Star in the box, Whimsicott, nice. I have a feeling that a lot of these packs at the back of this Brilliant Stars box are gonna be hits. Okay, come on, Billion Star, show me some money. Let's see some fire. Drake of Ishvi. Last pack out of five. Oh, dear God. You know, gotta say, just liking this rocket box a whole lot more than the Brilliant Stars box. I really, truly can't wait to see what we get from these grades on this. I, I, I've actually never done this before. And it's a dark, oh, is that a hollow? No, what? Yes, yes, that is a hollow. Dark wheezing holographic. What? Is that a, is that a hollow, dude? No. Yes? No. No? Number 14. Oh, it is hollow. Yeah, this is this is the hollow version. Okay, confirmed. Truth be told, I think we're running out of hollows in this box, and I'm a little nervous we're not gonna pull the Zard. I mean, it wouldn't ruin my day, but like, you know, I'd be excited about that, unless it happens here. Oh, thank God that wasn't hollow. Never have I ever opened up an entire first edition <laughs> booster box and then had the whole thing graded. I'm actually so excited about that and it will make the mystery pack super fun because, I mean, you know, you might get a hollow, you might get some random manky, but either way, everything will be graded. You'll get all slabs and they'll all be first edition Team Rocket slabs. Oh, the dark vile plume hollow, another holographic. Oh, it looks pretty. Wow, that's a good hollow. I like that, look at that, look at that. Look at him go. Okay, I, we we got it. There's gotta be a hollow something else in these packs, right? The Eevee Evolutions, I know, I, speaking of, Hollow Vaporeon, they go for quite a bit out of this box. I was actually surprised looking at prices back in the day of the Charmander especially. Boltorb, Mankey, Dark Slowbro, non-hollow. It all comes down to this, Dark Flareon. Well, technically the War Total, yes. Technically the next batch of Team Rocket packs. It all comes down to those ones. But this could be big, Oddish. And the Here Comes Team Rocket. Thank God it ain't hollow. And my friends, we've arrived at the back of the booster boxes. All right, maybe we enjoy our time with these last six packs of Brilliant Stars. Again, I do really like this set. It's just crazy that we haven't seen any secret rares out of this box and really barely any pulls, barely any V-Stars too. Now I did say earlier into the box that I thought this was a back heavy box, which means the bigger pulls should be in these next five packs, I hope. Oh, geez. But man, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? This is a $100 booster box, so not super surprised if we don't get a ton of crazy hits out of it, but you know, just kind of hoping for something a little spicy. Artillery, hello there, Flygon. Definitely curious to see if the last six packs of the Team Rocket box have anything left in it, because I know we've gotten a, quite a bit of hollows actually from that Rocket box. I'm not sure what else is left. Again, there's an average of 12 hollows per box, so we could have one more in there. And there's usually an average of one secret rare per box. Granbull V, that ain't it. And here we are, the last pack of Brilliant Stars, the last pack from the $100 box. Again, very surprisingly that we didn't just, we didn't like clean up on this box. Oh my God, I wonder what the final value count is gonna be. I guess we'll see after this. Bosses orders pull. No secret rare? Oh my god, did I just get scammed? Well, here we are with this, which will hopefully have a much more exciting outcome than what we just witnessed. Oh my gosh, what a uh, what an adventure this has been, huh? For the lot of us. 
A roller coaster of emotions, some would say. And again, another just massive Dark Jolteon. Oh, we are gonna get so many, I hope, CGC 9s and 10s of these EV evolutions. I literally can't wait. Big shout to CGC again for sponsoring this episode today and for offering to grade the entire box, including this Dark Hip No Non Holographic. An absolutely massive thing. I literally can't wait to see the grades. And again, if you want some cards graded because it is really tough and expensive these days, CGC absolutely has you covered. Link in the description. Please check them out. Give them a hello from the Mystic 7 fam and tell them to take care of this Dark Raichu Hollow. Oh, I was hoping we would get something big in the last couple of packs, and we did, baby. Dark Raichu Hollow is one of the hardest hollows to get out of first edition Team Rocket. It is a really, really, really rare and expensive hollow from the set. It's so good, too. And the hollow foil, looking at it, it looks crisp quality, man. Dark Raichu Hollow in the last couple packs. What a clutch. Although I have no idea if we have any hollows left, dude. I guess we'll see. Beautiful Dark Dragonair, amazing. And again, if you want to take part in the Whatnot Mystery Box auction and possibly get yourself any of these cards that we pulled today out of the Team Rocket First Edition at Booster Box. The link for that is in the description. Oh, there's the double, or the rainbow energy. Link is in the description to download and check out whatnot. We'll be working with them a lot in the future too for some bigger boxes for the Japanese sets coming out pretty soon here. That was a dark flare in, by the way. W, Squirtle, another W. So if you don't have an account with them, definitely grab that because there will be a lot to do over there. The Dark Hypno. Two packs remain in this first edition Team Rocket booster box. Anything can happen the boss's way. Magikarp, I kissed the Magikarp for luck, and I think it worked because after that we got the right shoe. Charmander, Raticate, Diglett, Dratini, and another Dark Dragonite Hollow! There's no way, dude! This is the box that keeps on giving. Absolutely incredible, man. Again, one of my favorite cards ever. Oh my god. God, look at the hollow foil on that too. It's so nice. Oh, in the last two packs, man, that's just, I mean, just incredible luck. Wow, two Dark Dragonite hollows on the day. I mean, we got the Blastoise, we got the Drag, or not, yeah, Dragonite. Yeah, two Dragonites, duh. The Blastoise, the Gyarados, the Raichu, and so many Jolteon, so many Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle. This is a valuable box, and here we are in the last pack. Thank you again for joining. Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't. <sighs> Let's see if we can end with something insane. It's a Dark Art box, non-holographic. And here are all of the 12 holographic cards that we pulled from the first edition Team Rocket box. And here are the final values that we got from the Brilliant Stars booster box versus the first edition Team Rocket booster box. If you enjoyed, check out the other videos on screen and the links in the description. Be ready for the auction, it'll be insane. Thank you for watching, take care.